Alright everybody, welcome back to Homesteading Northern Michigan. Today we are starting a new series with uh, my little charge station right here. Um, so, it's going to be the uh, DIY Tesla power wall for my off-grid uh, setup that I'm doing. Uh, it's going to be a total of about 2,500, 18,650 cells. So that's why I have all this extra room for expansion, extra outlets. Um, these right here are what I use to capacity test the cells. These are all chargers. Uh, so tester, tester, chargers. And then these are for my GoPro 4 and 5. So stay tuned uh, part two is coming up immediately after this uh, I'm tearing down a bunch of laptop batteries so uh, stay tuned like subscribe hit that notification bell and share this stuff around I'm trying to get to trying to get to a million subscribers thanks guys enjoy
So, we got her plugged in. See, it's that crappy extension cord. Just tuck that back there. But as you can see, my drill batteries are charging. GoPro batteries charging. I haven't put the four batteries in there. This is for my Hero 5, Hero 4. All these guys right here. These are specifically smart chargers for the 18650 batteries. 
that are uh, for my power wall. So these guys right here, you got a battery in there, it brings up a display. Now it says no. But uh, those are for capacity testing the cells. Um, as you can see, I got room to expand. I know it wasn't the right wiring in there. I don't care. These aren't high amp uh, applications here, so should be all right. We'll find out. If something catches on fire. I don't have insurance, so woohoo! Okay, guys. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching part one of my Powerwall series, uh, my Tesla. Power wall series because the uh, Tesla power walls use the 18650 cells, lithium ion. So, part two, I will be tearing down old bad laptop batteries for the cells, the 18650 cells. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.